What's good? What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Tony Bruce TV. I'm your host, Tony Bruce, and today we're going to have a brief discussion on how you should stay focused right after the intro. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we back. I'd like to welcome y'all to another episode of Tony Bruce TV. I'm your host, Tony Bruce. You can follow me on Tony Bruce TV on Instagram and Tony Bruce Music on Facebook. Don't forget, if you like the content we release on this channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and punch that notification bell so you can get all the content we release on this channel. If you feel like this content can help anybody in your circle, make sure you uh, share that with them also. If you have anything, you know, any comments, that you ever want to leave about anything on these topics, just make sure you leave that in the comment section also. Now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into today's topic, which is how you should stay focused. Now I know sometimes, you know, life can be a real bitch, but you know, you just got to learn from your mistakes, adapt, and come back stronger. So this is real evolution here, folks. So it's not the strongest that survive, it's the ones that can adapt, they survive. So, so like, like I said, it's not the strongest that survive, it's the ones that can adapt, that survive. And what that simply means is, like, you can be the strongest, like, a perfect example is, you know, I'm, I don't really know if a lot of you know out, outside of the movie 300, you know, the kind of, um, you know, historical facts about the Spartans, how they, they fell, because, yeah, they were strong, but they refused to adapt. They were kind of isolated from the rest of the world, kind of did their own thing, you know, while the world was evolving and advancing they kind of were stuck in their rigid ways and so they they were strong but they lacked the ability to adapt and so that was their downfall and so what this has to do with you know staying focused is pretty much you know life is gonna throw punches life's gonna throw dragon punches roundhouse kicks fireballs and uppercuts and just when you just won the battle as soon as you go back to the locker room some more shit pop off they about to try to get you in the locker room <laughs> But the thing is, you know, you just got to fight through that shit and keep pushing. The game's not over anyway until you stop playing. So as long as you keep hitting that start button and you keep moving, you're going to progress. You're going to grow. You're going to figure out what it is you need to do to reach your goals. So, you know, you're going to have haters, naysayers, negative family members. You know, that's all part of the game, pimp. But if you want something bad enough, none of that shit even matter. Um, you can continue to push past the limit. And you can continue to evolve until you reach to you reach your goal or reach whatever it is you're trying to obtain. You know, when you feel like you want to quit, don't. When you feel like you want to quit, that's when you need to push through. Because a lot of times when you feel like you want to quit, it's either some type of doubt done crept in or some type of fear. And those are just negative emotions. So pretty much when you feel that, ignore it. Just ignore it. You know, you have your specific gifts for a reason. But you're going to have to adapt and become someone different than you are if you want a different situation for your life. But I believe in you, you know, I believe you can do it. Just put the work in and make the necessary sacrifices for your career, for your betterment. You know, and those sacrifices could be, you know, like I said in my previous videos, you know, maybe you need to stop hanging around certain people. Maybe you have some type of habit, a bad habits that you may need to get rid of altogether. You know, whatever you feel like you need to do for your life, just do it just do that shit you know and stay focused like you stay focused by just focusing on the mission don't get trying your damnedest not to get distracted you know it's kind of hard you know there's a lot of distractions out here but it only be hard for like you know you can train yourself like it'll take you maybe a solid they say 21 days some say 45 days i say a solid two months if you train yourself to do a specific set of habits for two months straight i guarantee you you won't you you're going to become a different person and a lot of those previous habits you had before you started your two months they're going to be non-existent because you're going to be done pretty much trained your brain and tricked yourself into becoming something more than what you were like i said ladies and gentlemen just stay focused you're going to have those setbacks you're going to have those hard times you know they're going to creep up on you you're going to have unexpected things that's going to come up and hit your pocket it's all good that's the part of life. Just don't stop. Keep going. Make sure you evolve. Figure out what you need to find out. 
Uh, don't be afraid to learn. Don't be afraid to ask. You know, push your ego to the side and ask people that know more than you know. Because a lot of times with people who know more than you, they don't mind even giving the information. It's just that a lot of people don't even ask them. A lot of people don't like to humble themselves and, you know, ask like, hey, how do I do such and such, 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 such. And I ain't saying being humble as in being meek or timid, but knowing when you lack in a certain area is, you know, is one of the first parts of growth. You got to realize what you lacking first so you can determine what you need to improve. So that's my short rant on how you should stay focused despite the setbacks. Just keep going. And y'all already know how I do at the end of my episodes. I like to leave y'all with a book to help you along on your journey. And the name of this book is The Organized Mind. Thinking Straight in the Age of Information Overload by Daniel J. Levitin. Well, that's a long book title. Well, that's The Organized Mind, Thinking Straight in the Age of Information Overload by Daniel J. Levitin. And I'll leave, you know, this book title in the um, in the description section. So if there's anything in particular you ladies and gentlemen would like me to cover, make sure you leave that in the comment section. If you feel like this can help someone in your circle, make sure you leave that in the comment section. Also, I drop videos twice a week, so make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and punch that notification bell so you can get all the content I release. I'm your host, Tony Bruce. Connect with me on Instagram at Tony Bruce TV, and I'm on Facebook at Tony Bruce Music. So that's it. That wraps it up for another episode of Tony Bruce TV. Y'all remember, y'all stay safe. And until next time, make moves, not excuses. Yeah. Out. Carolina Cooling. Yo, uh, country brother with the flow, give you nothing but skill. South Carolina native, born and raised in that steel. Relocated to Saluda, man, I miss the feel. Women came from all over, half naked with heels. Got out of high school, thinking to myself, what's next? Doing the military, stack checks, marching in step. Did my time, no sweat, packed my bags and left. I've traveled east to west, but Carolina's the best. My windows down.